Well, sitting here on the porch, waiting on another rain shower today. Yeah. Saturdays. Rain. Every Saturday. Can't seem to get anything done. But blueberries are doing good. Finally got that um, volunteer chamomile out from the front of the greenhouse, trying to get it to root. I think I did that four days ago. Still blooms. Still blooming. Like I said, sitting on the porch. <laughs> so, what I can do while it's raining. Look at the chamomile. Oh, it just volunteered to come back all over. It's crowding out the echinacea that's coming back. <laughs> There's the sage. I've never seen sage bloom. It's pretty. It's taken over. And that sage right there seems to have succumbed finally. The really tall stuff is the garlic. Can't wait to start pulling that. Hopefully it's done something because nothing else seems to be doing very well this year. Look at the poor onions between the wind. You can see I'm laid over up there. And a stupid squirrel. I don't know if I'm going to get any good onions this year. Gosh. You should be a lot bigger by now. Let me, uh, since I'm doing this, I'll sneak out of here. Out from the cover. Hopefully I don't get to it, pop into the greenhouse. You hear the rain hitting the top of the greenhouse, but the carrots are doing pretty good. They need watering today. They seem to be doing really well. And it looks like I need to pick spinach again. <laughs> Pepper plants, oops, they need to be watered today, it looks like. Jalapenos, uh, Italians, and bells. Basil, doing really well. Looks like one little place didn't make it. A couple didn't make it. The sad part is, my tomatoes. Yeah. That didn't work out so well this year. Yesterday, yesterday, I'm sorry, excuse me. Last year, I had an abundance. I had way too many tomato plants. Yeah. Not the case this year. <laughs> Not even going to have enough. And somehow, I accidentally put basil in here instead of tomatoes. But all the empty ones, yeah, they they damped off and died 24, 48 hours after after seeding them or transplanting them. So that sucks. <laughs> I don't know if you can see out there. Some of the bushy stuff between the onions. Yeah, there should be a lot more up. Something has, um, I think the frost, the last frost we had, bit them back. So that's not good. <laughs> not good at all. But that garlic is just looking amazing. Anyway, maybe if it stops raining. Again, I hope <laughs> I can get back to weeding in the garden. 
and I'll show you some more things that are doing pretty good. Okay, so five minutes later, it stopped raining. Yay! So, I'm going to go ahead and show you some things that are doing good. <laughs> um, the romaine is doing pretty good. A little slow, but that's okay because it's been hot this week. I kind of just put them wherever I could. So, they're all throughout here. Um, the tall through the center are the broccoli. Here's a little cabbage. That little cabbage is not doing so hot. That one either. Let's see what else we got. No, that's a broccoli right there in the middle, so it's not doing so good, but you know, it's still alive, so that's good. Oh. Okay, collards. <laughs> we picked a mess a few weeks ago and put in the freezer. And I um, guess we... Uh, Looks like we're going to get some more collards. Good broccoli. Like I said, interplanted the um, red romaine in here. That's a cabbage that froze out in the winter, but it, it's going to seed. So I'm letting it seed to seed save. More lettuce. Bad cabbage. Uh, what's that? Collards again. <laughs> and then over here course the cabbage and the broccoli and the wind I mean look it has just destroyed everything with all these storms all my little hoops are just everywhere I have to fix that and that's a good looking broccoli right there so and like I said the cabbage so we got some things doing okay but most stuff lately is just not doing oh <laughs> yeah yeah my bonnet. Love my bonnet. Little house on the prairie. Best thing in the world. Anyway, before the rain, the big storm came again, I did start weeding. So I did weed out this side. <laughs> I got this far. I'm having, I'm hand pulling all this chickweed and hen bit and wild, what, wild garlic out of here before I till. Try to get that dry off a little bit because this, this, is where the green beans are going to go here soon. Actually, this week. I hope. Lord, rain. And then I'll pop over here so you can see better. <clears throat> and I'll show you what the problem is with the stupid. So, you can see all this dirt out here where it's not supposed to be. And that's because I have a squirrel for some reason that likes to come and dig. And I have no idea what he's trying to dig because there's just onions 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 and there is a potato in here yep you can actually see it right there it's actually doing but if the stupid squirrel won't keep pulling my dirt away <laughs> that one's not going to make very well but these potatoes they're doing okay they're doing okay mm, not, not with mm, yeah anyway and like i said Here's more squirrel damage. So, my onions are just... Mm, I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen there. But, this garlic. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so, you know. I hope to be pleased. <laughs> I really do. Look how big these stalks are down here. That's huge. So, with the non-existent harvest last year when I put in, what, 66 garlic bulbs and got two. Two. So, it appears that the garlic survived and it did really well out here. So, we're definitely going to do that again. Now you can see the sun's come out, which is great. Get something done. But, yeah. Hopefully, not too many more days or weeks, I will be picking garlic. Or pulling garlic. And uh, maybe we'll do that together. So anyway, 
Thank goodness the sun is out again, I hope, <laughs> for at least the rest of the afternoon. So I can get this green bean patch weeded out and ready. Let it dry up a little bit. But um, it smells great out here with the wisteria. So, but yeah, no. Beautiful weeks. Beautiful Monday through Fridays. Seems like every week. But uh, Saturdays have been a wash for a while. And the garden is not getting anywhere. Only because we've been busy with the chicken house. I would show you that. But that's for another day. Anyway, I'm going to try to take advantage of the rest of the sun while it lasts. So, as always, many blessings to you.